Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna land in Innsbruck. I'm going to load up a flight in LAX. We're going to update this copy of X-Plane to the, um... We're going to update this copy of X-Plane to the, um... The beta. And we're going to test the FPS difference after the update. I'm going to completely wipe all the textures and stuff too. So it's not going to be an apples to app, app pff, what am I saying? Apples to apples comparison. But um guys, I'm sorry, but like I can't wait. So we're gonna load up, we're gonna do an FPS comparison. I'm gonna show you my settings. I'm going to delete my preferences and we're gonna put those settings back in. Okay. Live on stream. So I'm going to my overlay I need to fix. We're just gonna move this right there. And I'm gonna get rid of that. So, as you can see, okay, <laughs> I'm getting 43 FPS on settings. Okay, that's interesting, I guess, to say the least. But it's it's pretty smooth. It's okay. I, uh, this is fine. 43, 44 FPS. I'm now going to close the sim. 43 FPS. Remember that number. I'm actually going to write it down. Now I'm going to make sure I'm going to close Active Sky. I'm going to close this. I'm going to completely delete X Vision off my disk. Here's my desktop. Hey. Update X Plane. Check for new betas as well. It's checked. Continue. This is the one. Yeah. Continue. It's downloading the patch info. Guys, I'm very excited right now. Okay, you're about to download. Th That's a very small download. Do this for all files in this directory. Overwrite the old file. And we're just going to completely overwrite everything. Okay, so. Settings. Here's what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, runway, yeah, yeah, that. That's good, that's fine. Okay, so this is different now. Use Vulcan for fast... Dude, really? I have to restart X-Plane? Okay, whatever. Uh, 70 FOV. We're going to try the same exact settings. HDR. We're going to put this on medium. Wait, was it on high or medium? I can't... Did they change this? I don't think that should matter. Let's just leave it... Let's just put it on high. Whatever. I'm going to put this on 2X. Put this on high. Um, use vsync off I think this was on medium I'll be honest with you yeah so we're gonna press done we're gonna let it just you know load in all, all the settings and then we're gonna press quit x-plane and promptly load back in alright here we go here are the um, settings. Here they are. And 54 FPS. However, it's very smooth. Very smooth. Go ahead and pop into an outside view. Yeah, I mean, it still has that, like, kind of stuttering when you move your, like, mouse fast or whatever. And, I mean, this is, like, default X-Plane, so it's not going to look amazing, but, but it's, like, 120 FPS in LAX. Granted, we are looking out the water, but... Let's see if maybe I can turn up some settings here. And let's see if we get a, a massive performance. Turn up this to high, or maximum, sorry. Wow, Sim just died. Okay, look at that. So I guess changing settings, I'm just gonna, I, like, I'm just gonna send this report to them. Wow. Oh yeah, this is a scenery, by the way. 60 
Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 65 FPS on the ground at Innsbruck. Completely smooth. Look at that. And we're running with these settings, too. These aren't exactly low settings by any stretch of the... Except for this. I forgot to turn that up, but... I don't think that's going to have a huge, massive FPS hit. I think they made the camera smooth, too. Wow, that looks fantastic. Um, we're gonna we're just gonna take off here. We're gonna go for a little flight. This is the default 737. This is not the Zebo. I uh, I can load that up after after we do this circuit and just see how it is. But anyways, let's take it out on a little flight. So far, the scenery looks okay. This is just Sims, not Orbexes. I don't know, like, I didn't put in any rotation speeds or anything, but we're just gonna go ahead and rotate now. Pause it for climb gear up. Now, the good news is all the controls and everything seem to work right out of the box. Um. I'm gonna level off at like 4,000 feet. I'm just going to do a little U-turn, I guess, in this valley. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make it nighttime now. See what that looks like. Yeah. Classic X-Plane night look. Not really too much has changed. And I am going to go ahead and load in some clouds. Because I remember back in the day, aka... Uh, a couple minutes ago the clouds killed fps but look at that i mean yeah they are actually killing the fps so definitely use some aftermarket clouds which don't kill fps so when x vision comes in should be able to wow very nice is my sim is my uh, stream starting to die i think it is I think my GPU is being overloaded, so I'm actually just going to turn this down due to me streaming. Yeah, yeah, this is better. So, yeah. Uh, wow, now I'm getting 92 FPS. So, it seems to be more... They... Yeah, 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 whatever. We're not doing any sort of professional thing right now. I will say, though... Very smooth. Can you try to land on rain? Yeah, sure. I'll do that right now. I'll set the uh, conditions to rain. Uh, stormy. That should be rainy. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it already. Yeah, so this is quite stormy, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. One thing to note. You guys see these uh, sort of weird glitches? I wonder if maybe that's due to fly with Lua. So I'm going to actually disable that right now. Yeah. I would probably have to reload the um, area or whatever. But yeah, that that's still a thing. So that I'm not too happy about. But I feel like... I used to have a uh, Lua thing that fixed that. So I'm going to have to find that again and re-download it. But yeah, it, guys, it's smooth. What can I say? Loading, yep, that's my specialty right there. Like I said, though, not try harding. So, yeah, um, no FPS drops really. We're 70 FPS. Wow, my throttle just went flying off my. Um, I will try this, though. I do have the Zebo 737. It's probably not the latest version. It, like, I'm 99% sure it's not the latest version. But I'm going to set the weather back to sort of this, like, scattered effect. Yeah, right now, folks, to those of you who are tuning in at the moment, we are testing... The, we're, we're trying to test the Zebo 737 um, in Vulcan, as you can see right here. Explain 
And I have a feeling that as... Oh, preparing... Okay, so it is still loading. Yep, here we go. Zebo737. Sounds take a second to load. 59 FPS. And these are the settings that I'm running at the moment. I'm running this anti-aliasing because the stream dies when I <laughs> turn it up too much. Yeah, I mean... 57 FPS... With max objects, that's pretty good, I guess. Oh yeah, and that like weird terrain glitch is gone now, so that's good. These are like default X plane stuff. I I don't really, I'm not a fan of that. So I probably probably X vision makes that all better, and new sky colors and whatnot. But yeah, if I make it like more daytime ish, like that. Clouds, looking up into the clouds, looking everywhere at the ground scenery right there. Um. What what else was I gonna? Oh yeah, I want to load into an airport like Manchester. Um, here we are, Manchester. Seems to be the same story really. Fifty seven FPS, a few lower FPS, but like that's to be expected. Fifty six FPS. Let's go into the cockpit and see what's going on in there. Forty four FPS. If I wasn't streaming, I'd probably be getting a little bit more. Pretty smooth. Not as smooth, of course, as it was in. Uh, what are those low res? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I need to change my texture settings. But um, 45 FPS. Um, if I turn this down, I'd probably be getting a lot higher. Let's see what my CPU usage is like. I'm actually gonna bring that on the screen. So if I just like this seems to be a pretty demanding scenario right here uh looking like into this sort of town area over there 44 fps i got a 9900k um so this is sort of what's happening it's at uh almost 5 gigahertz right now we could we could see that right here cpu 2 seems to be not maxed out but look guys it's using this it's using this it's using this it's using 20% GPU. Um, it's using 7.6 out of 11 gigs of the memory. That's kind of... I guess that's kind of a lot, right? Because I... But look, we still got headroom with the GPU. Alright, so it's not the cloud. So it seems to be more of a CPU-oriented issue. So it does appear that you can't run this at maximum anymore. We are seeing a bit of an increase there. General FPS headroom. I'm not talking just FPS in general. I'm talking headroom. Like how much we can increase um, FPS. Talking about this sort of update. When I ran at high FPS in... Um, or at... Yeah. In, uh, in Innsbruck, I was sort of getting really high FPS. It was really nice. Um, but you can see when I turn up my objects, then the frames start to drop. Not a lot, but you you do once you get into the sort of forties in X plane, you lose out on that smoothness. Oh wow, we're about to overrun. Uh, you lose out on that smoothness, which I feel like X plane should be sort of known for being the smooth sim, if you know what I mean. Flight dynamics wise, it stays smooth, but the uh, sort of view when you move your view around. But if you found like a way to run it at 30 fps and it to be completely smooth then you can definitely and, and you have a good pc you can definitely turn those world objects to maximum and have it look like this you know? yeah. sorry guys voice crack and have it look like this you know yeah i mean you still got the building pop but if you're running ortho you know ortho i find i find that if you're running ortho you can turn down the world objects to just high and you'll be completely okay. You can run it um, at high ortho and you won't even be able to really tell because of the ortho scenery. It looks so nice, you know? It sort of balances it out. But if you're just not using ortho like me, because I don't really run ortho because I don't really have the, uh, I guess, resources and time to make all of it. What average increase in FPS have you experienced? Okay, so we ran here. Let me, let me, let me, um, I'll do something for you here real quick. Boeing 737 default. We're going to set the settings to how they were before. Before, like, I, I did a little test. I loaded in at around 43 FPS. 
the settings are roughly the same. We're going to go ahead and load in. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. So yeah, wow, look at that, guys. Default 737, we're experiencing a 17 FPS increase. Look at that, very smooth. I think I'm going to keep my settings the way they are, like this. Um, maybe when I'm simming off stream, then I can turn that up to four times. But for now, I think I'm just going to keep it like this and just sort of welcome the higher FPS.